Good evening, how's everybody doing? Give a big hand for Perry Sachs. I'm so excited to be here tonight, I really am. Uh, I happened to save a girl's life last night. She was going to jump off a bridge. I said, wait a minute, don't do it. I said, give me a kiss. You'll feel much better about the world. She gave me the biggest kiss you could ever get. I mean, a real tough job. I said to her, I don't understand this. You're beautiful. You're in your 20s. You're a fantastic kisser. Why would you be thinking of jumping off the bridge? She goes, my family can't accept the fact that I like to dress like a woman. So last week I broke up with my girlfriend. It was her birthday, I forgot it was her birthday. She said to make up for it, I have to buy her something that's brand new and shiny and goes from zero to 300 in less than six seconds. So I bought the bitch a brand new scale. I used to cheat on her all the time. One time she came home from work, she caught me in bed with a midget. She said, Steve, I thought you said you're gonna stop cheating on me. I said, can't you see I'm cutting down? I hated that bitch. The worst thing I hated more than her was a cat. How many guys here hate cats? Anybody hate cats? Unbelievable, I hate them. Every time I come home from work, when I, would, when I had a girlfriend, the cat would be sitting on the couch. Black cat, I hated him. Took him 25 miles away, dropped him off in the middle of nowhere. By the time I get back home, the stupid black cat was back on the couch. Now I pick up that cat, take him 50 miles away, drop him off in the middle of nowhere. By the time I get back home, that stupid cat is back on the couch. Now I'm living. I pick up that stupid cat, take him 100 miles away, over a bridge, through an underpass, four blocks to the left, four blocks to the right, I drop that stupid cat off in the middle of nowhere. 15 minutes on the way home, I call my girlfriend and say, hey babe, tell me something, have you seen that stupid cat around the house? She goes, yeah, he's sitting right here on the couch. I said, could you do me a favor and put him on the phone, I'm lost. <laughs> Sir, can I see you, where's that, uh, that gentleman right there, what's your name? Dennis, come here for a second. Give Dennis a big hand. How you doing? Do me a favor, turn around. Turn around. Look at this, from behind, don't we look like King Kong's nuts? Wait a minute, I know yet. Do me a favor. Again. Okay, now stop pulling on my nose, it's starting to run. Thank you, buddy. Give him a big hand. Great crowd, it really is. I want to get everybody a drink. Bartender, could I get a pitcher of tap water with like 60 straws? I appreciate it, thank you. A friend of mine just died last week. No, it was yesterday, as a matter of fact. My friend, he owned a chain of movie theaters, and his funeral is tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be uh, his showings there at 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 8 o'clock. Sneak preview tonight at midnight. And my friend that died last week, he invented the crosswords. Guy was a genius. His last request is he wanted to be buried six down and 12 across. <laughs> Unreal. Uh, you have to excuse me, I, I don't get much sleep at night. I take all kinds of sleeping pills. There's only one sleeping pill that works. It's like $16. $16 for a friggin' sleeping pill. It doesn't work with me, I'm Jewish. I take one of those pills, I'm up all night trying to figure out how to make back the $16. <laughs> Just got back from Mexico. Yeah, I, uh, I was eating one table, I was eating a burrito, and at the next table, this guy's eating these big balls, it's like meatballs. And I said to the waitress, excuse me, but what is he eating? She goes, well, testicles. I said, what? She goes, well, testicles. She goes, it's a delicacy out here. When the when a matador beats the bull or kills him, they serve the, 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 the testicles the next day. I go, that's fantastic. I said, I'm going to be back here tomorrow. I'm going to order it. I go back the next day, and I said to the lady, I said, do me a favor. Let me get an order of the testicles. She comes back, and she gives me an order, but this time the bulls are like this small. 
And I said to her, I don't understand this. Yesterday I was here, the, the balls are gigantic, and now the balls are this small. I said, what's that about? She goes, see, sí, senor, but the, ball, the bull doesn't always lose. You know, a couple days ago, I saw my uh, father, he's an assistant living, and then I went there yesterday morning to see how he was doing, and he was telling everybody that his penis died. And he's telling the nurse, my penis died. He's telling his friends, my penis died. He's telling me, my penis died. That was a couple nights ago. So yesterday morning, I went back there. I said, how's things going? He goes, my penis died. I says, I know, you told that to me yesterday. He's telling the nurse, you know what, my penis died. She goes, I know, you told that to me yesterday. But why is your penis hanging outside your pajamas? He says, well, my penis died yesterday. Today's the viewing. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Unbelievable. So <laughs> I went to a Chinese restaurant yesterday, me and my girlfriend now. We're talking about uh, Jews. There's all kinds of Jews. There's black Jews, Spanish Jews, Hungarian Jews. I said to her, I wonder if there's anything as a Chinese Jew. She goes, I don't know, why don't you ask the waiter? So I call the waiter over. I said, excuse me, sir, do you know if there's any Chinese Jews? He goes, also, we'll be all right, the buck. You know, and he goes in the back. I'm wondering where the hell he went. And 10 minutes later, he gets back. I said, where the hell did you go? I asked you one question, if there's any Chinese Jews. He goes, oh, no, we have a pineapple juice, tomato juice, grapefruit juice, no Chinese juice. Thank you very much. Have a good night.